I think it's the biggest shock we all went through. We never thought. We, we have seen tsunami, we have seen so much other issues, but this was something I thought there is no cure. I thought this will go on for years. I thought when I saw UK, USA and other countries going through, I think I was getting prepared for the worst situation. So thanks to everyone who was behind, and I think today we are in a better situation than other countries. See, we had uh, various uh, discussions with our senior team and one was, first thing was we did was to cut cost and to look after the workers, to give them the best. I mean, a time like this, I went through, I had many days, whole sambal with bread and rice and for example, we were getting ready because I'm used for that. I mean, my parents have taught us many ways too. So, uh, I know, I never thought we will come back so fast. But then, first thing I did was cut cost and plan to live according to the means what we have. Business went for zero. So, we were always thinking of the, our workers, how to pay their salaries, how to feed them, how to also them to survive. So that was the biggest challenge. But then thanks to my team, our senior management, uh, what we did was, first thing was we prayed whatever possible salaries for them. The second thing what I did was, I started getting into food business. I went to, to Dambul, I bought bulk vegetable, I, I got groceries in bulk. I started giving at least food. I thought, if I can't pay salaries, I will at least feed them with what I can. So that was the game plan we had. But in the meantime, things were getting better. Then gradually we started moving forward. Yes, of course, uh, we have come back, not today, a few months back. And we were really waiting to uh, come back because we, we felt we couldn't stay at home. You know, we are not used. I mean, I am more of a man who love what I do. I mean, my passion is innovation. I love to do many things in a day. So uh, we are back in action, but things are getting better. And I hope very soon we all can enjoy if we fall in line properly. I think we should be disciplined in whatever we do. And with the help of the government, definitely we can move forward. I think first thing was mass, nothing else. I think we were one of the first people to produce masks and we did some innovation to match with the shirt and we went on. Then we were focused to do online because we felt that people cannot reach and we cannot open store to develop the online business. I think we were uh, quite poor on online and we developed that quite well and I think our team did a lot of work to develop online. Uh, apart from that, we, we spend a lot of time on new innovation, new development and I think that is what we did and, and we also opened uh, last April during COVID time, we opened a store in London, in, in Kensington High Street. It's a unique store and with all this, uh, we were moving forward with a positive mind. So that is what matters in life, nothing is impossible. To restart Sri Lanka, I think whatever we do in life, we should have passion and love for the work what we do. Then in work, we should focus. Especially if you don't focus on your work, I think it's going to be a disaster. Today, we all are addicted to social media. In work, it can be you're working in the government sector or private sector, right? You need to focus and you should have a goal. The next, I would say honesty and integrity. In life, if you want to be successful, if you don't have the honesty and integrity, definitely you are not going to be successful. That is what I learned. The last one is, don't expect everything from the government. And in, we as business people or we as whatever, a citizen, we should not depend too much on the government. And we should and try and give back to the nation. That is what I feel. Thank you.